Hi guys. Well, I'm going to do one more Halloween project for you before Halloween gets here. Excuse the noise of the traffic, but I have to be outside to paint this. This is one of my um, old, um, well not old, one of my planters I had a tomato plant in earlier this year. And I'm going to paint it with this hammer rust-oleum paint to turn it in to look like a cauldron. And then we'll go from there. Close and I can show you. I didn't um, paint it completely black. I left some of the um, the uh, the pot itself show through because I want it to look like an old worn out pot. So this seemed to work and I really didn't worry much about the inside because that's going to be full of dirt. So we'll let this dry and we'll go on to the next step. Okay guys, hopefully the sun's not too bright. Um, after the container dried, I filled it up with dirt. And this is what I'm going to put in it. I have witch's legs. Get out of the way here. Skull. Flowers. Oh man, I got to figure out a way to do this. Sorry. There we go. Witch's legs, skull, flowers, hand. Skeleton of a rat. Some moss. And this little sign here. I had a... Uh, graveyard sign but I can't find it so I'm going to use this for right now and then I'll probably go back to the dollar store and get a tombstone but this is what I had on hand and we're going to put it in our little witch's cauldron first off whoa is a sign that the hands attached to hold on guys I'm doing this one handed and I have the sun to contend with I'm going to stick this down like this. And then we'll cover most of this stuff up. That way it'll look like a grave sign. There we go. Okay. And let's see. Let's do our witch's feet. Now I got these at Walmart. But if you don't want to do the witch's feet, you can get PVC and socks and uh, old... Um, boots from the thrift store and do it that way okay let's do a little bit of our moss I might put the camera down and bring you back guys okay to be honest with you that's probably gonna fly everywhere but I got these at the dollar store too or Dollar Tree I should say these little flowers I don't know if you can see it or not with the eyeballs. I just thought they were really cool. And the reason I'm doing this out here is because this thing is going to be, after I get the dirt in, is really heavy. So it's a lot easier to do it out here. Alright. I'm going to stick this one right back here. Oh, I may not even need to because it looks like a grave. I'll put a couple eyeballs up here. What do you think? I think it's coming together nicely. Okay, and our skull. Put him right there. And you can add as much or as little as you want to to this. We'll put the rat up front. I'm going to dig him in so the soil holds him down. So we're going to cover up his legs. So what do you think, guys? I think it's turned out looking pretty cool. A little moss around him. He looks like he's coming out of the grave. And that'll keep him from flying somewhere. And this is heavy, so I'm not worried about it. And I'm going to put it like it's climbing up after the witch's foot leg. How's that? Okay, so there's my witch's cauldron. Quick and easy. Oh, i got to pull some flowers down just a little bit more in the back. There we go. Yeah, so now a little bit so you can see the skull. Anyway, this is my witch's cauldron up here on my porch. And that thing is... Sorry guys, my camera cut out on me. Anyway, this is the finished witch's cauldron, as you can see. i got to clean off my porch from the dirt and stuff. But I thought it turned out really, really nice. Give me a little up close. And I can use my container next year for my roses 
or my tomatoes, whichever I decide on. And then at Halloween, just party tomatoes so I can take them out Halloween and make this cauldron again. I'll just pull everything out and store it till next year. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video in this tutorial or DIY, whichever you want to call it. And we'll catch you on the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, real quick. Sorry about the lighting. It was the best I could do. Bye.